wait, 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 hold on. So let's say if I go on an airplane and even when the plane is getting ready to take off or when the plane is preparing to land, I can still use my electronic device instead of having to power it off? So, at the beginning of this video, you heard that right. You can start uh, using your electronic devices throughout the whole flight, uh, whether you're getting ready for takeoff uh, or you're preparing for landing. However, this is not available on every airline, unfortunately. Well, at least not yet. Right now, this is available on Delta Airlines and JetBlue Airways. I was reading an interesting article on technobuffalo.com, in which the article there will be a link for the article in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. And it seemed very interesting to me. Uh, by the way, I'm looking over here. Sorry. But, uh, you know, Delta and JetBlue Airways are allowing um, passengers to use their electronic devices throughout the whole flight. Now, unfortunately, cell phones, you, can't, you, can, you cannot uh, make phone calls or send text messages. So, well, for those of you guys that have a cell phone, you obviously have to put your phone into airplane mode. Now, what do I think about uh, this opportunity uh, that the that Delta Airlines and JetBlue Airways are giving to their passengers? Um, there's not much to say. I mean, I guess it's just another uh, opportunity that's added onto their uh, airline policy. So that way, if you really want to uh, use your electronic device, Oh, while you are uh, landing, then okay, you can use it. Uh, or maybe when you're taking off, you're, you just... Uh, you know how you get that weird feeling where the plane takes off? It feels like uh, you're like... I, I don't know, this is what I feel like. Uh, you're like stomping on something, and you kind, you kind of feel like that feeling is weird. Well, with your headphones, you just pay attention to your music. You might not even pay attention to the feeling. I don't know, that's just my... Uh, uh, overall thinking about this. Now, first of all, let's start off with uh, the reasons why we're not supposed to use our electronic devices uh, when the plane is preparing to take off or preparing for landing. Two reasons. Number one, if, you know, if something were to happen, you need to be aware of what the flight attendants are saying. And if you guys are having earbuds uh, into your ears or you're um, um, playing with your phone, playing with your gaming devices, uh, and you're not paying attention to what the flight attendant is saying, if there's an emergency, then uh, your devices uh, should be off. Also, uh, there's this thing called electromagnetic interference. And what I have is like an example. So let's say, uh, if you're like in school, for example, uh, and you have your cell phone on, even though uh, the uh, employees at school or teachers or the staff in general uh, tell you to keep your phone off uh, during class and next thing you know there are some people that don't keep their phones off and then like you have like those uh, those TVs in the classrooms on and next thing you know someone gets a text message you and now they'll probably put it on vibrate or silent but then on the TV it'll start making some sort of static noise and that's when you can tell somebody has their cell phone on and somebody is getting a text messages uh, or some sort of email and Apparently, what I just found out was like airplanes, they have like a lot of radios, which uh, I knew that already, but I didn't think that they were uh, that interfering um, with uh, the radios that are inside your electronic devices. So that, that's why flight attendants always tell you to turn your devices off uh, when the plane is preparing for takeoff. And you only have to sit through that for a few minutes, then you can turn your device on again and then uh, start playing with it and of course the same goes for landing and they'll tell you to like keep your laptop computers off you know all you know, all that other good stuff uh, but even though Delta Airlines and JetBlue Airways are still uh, uh, giving you this option your cell phone uh, still cannot be used to make phone calls or uh, send text messages uh, during your flight because you're way up in the air and if you were to go like overseas or something then it'll like lose contact with the uh, radios from the original country that you bought your cell phone in. So overall well, what do I think about this uh, feature? It, it's nice to have if you guys uh, really uh, like to play your devices but at the same time 
I don't mind turning my device off or then again I'll just stop using it uh, when the plane is trying to take off or if it's trying to land because there are people uh, who just don't use the device during those times but they still have it on and so far nothing happened yet but then again you, know, you never know what's going to happen and that's why flight attendants are still pushing you to turn your devices off. So I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that this is a, a feature you know, that are, that's going to be spread throughout all the airlines um, in the airline industry, you know, American Airlines uh, or Southwest Airlines Continental? Actually, no, I think Continental is out of it. Uh, I, I don't know. You know, because I haven't seen Continental Airlines for a while. You guys can correct me on that if they're still in business or not. But uh, the, the most recent time I went to the airport, I didn't see their sign. I mean, their sign's still there, but uh, nobody was at the uh, checkout calendars and their counter was closed. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking something weird. But for me, it's uh, great to have, uh, but at the same time, it's something that's not really necessary all the time, but for those of you guys that uh, really want to dig into your music or your game uh, while the plane is uh, preparing to take off or preparing to land, then okay, you guys can have your entertainment right there. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.